So if your goal is to improve your running, you know, then running is obviously really important and your strength is going to um, complement that. But if your goal is to get stronger on tonal, if that is your goal, if you're trying to squat more and you're just trying to feel better for life, feel stronger in your daily life with your kids, with your friends, going hiking, going on vacation, then you want to make sure that your strength training stays at the epicenter of like what you're trying to do. So your cardio should complement that. With that being said, you should still do a majority of strength training and allow the cardio to be that complement. the gym better do it smart get your own coach there where you are start the day right there in your home with the smartest gym in the world ready set go smart panel smart bar smart training there you are customizing it right ai form advice super set will show you what it's all about it's a total Welcome to the Superset Podcast, episode 33. This is Crystal O'Keefe. And this is Tom O'Keefe. So uh, you're pretty excited that I you... I am so excited. Your work from home day synced up. Yeah. So uh, the the brand new tonal live classes start next Wednesday, the 21st. Which is your work from home day. It's my work from home day. So I am so going to be on those live classes as many as I can be. It's going to be amazing. And still work, actually work from home. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, still call work from home. I know, I know, Tom. I know. <laughs> just you're not case, my boss. Just in case the bosses are listening. But you're not my boss. So, <laughs> but there's one that falls like right over lunchtime. So, and it's the first one. So I'm like really excited. Awesome. <laughs> so, uh, outside of that, what do you have in store for people this week? Well, we've got big news. We're going to talk about. Who just joined the tonal team it's a big one it's a big one we've got uh more to talk about with this live classes thing and then uh some some group updates and some just tidbits of tonalness that are coming up Ooh, tidbits yeah. tidbits awesome well before we get to all that uh shameless plugs don't forget we're available on apple Podcasts, spotify google Podcasts, wherever you find a podcast you can find us while you're there be sure and uh rate review and follow us so you never miss an episode and you can also find us on the interwebs at facebook.com slash superset podcast while you're there like the page and join the group it's a great way to stay up to date on things throughout the week and uh we have a youtube channel youtube.com slash the clip out where all the episodes for both of our podcasts live you can go over there and subscribe as well and you'll get little notifications whenever we post new ones so there's all that let's uh let's dig in shall we we shall breaking news so big news in the world of tonal ginormous they have inked a deal with LeBron James, an athlete so well known, even I know who he is. We know who he is. <laughs> this is big because we don't follow sports. Correct. So And we live in a town that doesn't have an NBA team. So mm -hmm. so like when one, we don't really care about sports and we don't even have that that league in our city and we still know who somebody is, they're a big they're deal. They're a big deal. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is exciting. And I love his quotes. I love his quotes. He's like really into the tonal. So um, I like the video, the commercial, because it's all about like how, uh, you know, there's all this stuff that you see him do right. every time he's he's on the court. But then there's all the stuff that you see him do off the that you don't see him do rather and that's that's get in shape like that's it's like you know we as as a person watching a game you just take for granted because there's all these amazing right. players out there you don't really think about what it takes to get into shape and yeah the so, hours of work they have to do yeah besides exactly. just playing the basketball so i really like that that this is where this is coming from and uh i also i really like seeing that they actually put his actual weights yeah. on the uh the tonal like yeah goals hashtag goals <laughs> look at him do that that front squat do you see that that front squat yeah he had it at the he right. must have a neck in a different place yeah because <laughs> <laughs> it sure doesn't work for me like that <laughs> well he's killing it 
It's pretty awesome. I am so yeah. excited for Tonal. This is huge. And he's also uh, an investor now as well. Do we have any details on that? Uh, if we do, I don't know what they are. Okay. But like, but he put his money where his mouth is, and now he is uh, also. He, you know, it's like uh, like that old. Uh, what was it? The old razor commercial. I liked it so much. I bought the company. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty dang cool. That's that's awesome. And live classes, uh, moving along, are almost upon us. October 20th. You are counting down the days. Yes. Yes. Earlier, I said it was the 21st. I don't know what I was thinking. I know what 13 plus 7 is, and it's the (laughs) 20th. And that is the day that we are going live. I'm so freaking excited about this. So, um... If you guys haven't seen it, over on the official Tonal community, there are a bunch of classes that that have been put out, and you can go out and RSVP for them. My understanding is we're going to see these about a week at a time, and they're planning on having these come out like three days a week. The live classes will be three days a week, and uh, there will be some that are live and some that are encore. For those of you who are not aware of what an encore class is, it is the exact same class, but with a fresh leaderboard. So it's still going to be something we can all join together, you know, in case you couldn't make it to the, the live class. It's It will it will live on. It will live on. Yes. And it's nice because it's like still at a set time, so you can still use the social zone because the social zone is new and you're going to be able to see when other people hit milestones um you're not going to be able to like talk to them per se but you're going to see like oh so and so just got a pr and 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 the instructors are going to give shout outs this is going to be amazing i'm so incredibly stoked about this i cannot wait cannot wait So uh, Tonal is launching a community ambassador program. I think this is pretty cool. It is. Yeah. So the idea is that they partner with community managers who are building their own niche groups that align with the values and the mission of the official Tonal community. And so the the first one they are partnering with is the Tonal XXL community, which is led by Rochelle Martin, who mm-hmm. is also one of, well, first of all, longtime Peloton writer. And right. we've, we've known her for a long time. And uh, she's also one of the community uh, admins for the official Tonal community. So... <laughs> Last night, Coach Natalie actually hosted her first ever extra loud chat where she was going to go live and talk about all things training on the tonal for the XXL community. She's going to she's she covered adjustments for exercises with larger stomachs, breasts, thighs, etc. as well as well as answering questions that come in. So um, this is obviously cool for people who are in the XXL tribe, but also for anybody that might know somebody who isn't necessarily in the community, but they might be thinking about a tonal and maybe they're on the larger side and they're like, oh, I don't know that this is the place for me. This is totally the place for them because tonal is inclusive. We have this amazing community. And um, if there is anybody that you know that's that's starting a community or if there is a community of members that you want to be able to uh, highlight as well, make sure you reach out to Kate. But uh, if you haven't heard of the XXL community for Tonal, also check them out as well. Yeah, I think this is great. We've seen so much of this over in in the world of Peloton, which Mm -hmm. is where we started, of just these kind of niche groups, whether it's like, you know, there's Jewish Peloton writers and and there's uh, doctors and all all sorts of things. And so it's it's great to uh, to see them fostering that in a way that they exist over in that other world, but they're not fostered in this manner. So I, yeah, I really dig that. I, I agree. And and what I what I hear you saying that other people may not pick up on is that Tonal is making a point to allow the coaches to have a voice in those communities and to to speak to their specific niches. And that's pretty dang amazing. Absolutely. I'm using dang a lot today. You are dang it. Mm. So I thought this was interesting. I haven't had a chance to read it yet, but uh, but I have had these same thoughts when I've used the tonal, which is, should you train barefoot or with shoes? Yep. Now, I haven't read it either, but I feel like I know the answer, and the answer is going to be barefoot. And the re- it, I think either is really okay. Yeah. Let me just say that. But like... If you have a preference for working out bare feet, there's nothing wrong with that when it comes to the using the tonal trainer. Um, 
And the reason I think that is because it does so many things like add to your natural balance when you're in your bare feet. Yeah. Um, what I used to do is uh, take my shoes off and leave my socks on. I leave my socks on. So at first, when I first started doing this, I had shoes and I put I would put shoes on. And then I'm just like, I don't really know this is getting me anything. And so I just started. I Now I just have my socks on. Yeah. Well, it, I can't work out in my socks. Because uh, I slide around too much. Yeah. Like if I try to do a downward dog with my socks on, I'm just, I'm just going to, I'm an inchworm. <laughs> I just fall on the floor. Yeah. It's not good. It's not pretty. Totally. So uh, I like to just no socks. I'm a no sock kind of gal when gotcha. it comes to the, the tonal. And this seems to say that you can do either, but if, you, if you're going to wear shoes, you, you need to make sure you have the right kind of shoes on. Yeah, you don't want something that's too stiff, and uh, you, you want something that's going to support your foot, but you don't want something that's not going to let your foot move because you need to be moving your feet around a lot whenever you're doing strength training. So be sure that you have enough room in your shoe if that's what you're going to do. It's a big debate. It is. I, I have seen that question come up quite a bit over in the official tonal community. So if you are new to tonal, uh, one, welcome. And two, uh, they have a quick start guide for you that can maybe uh, jumpstart your foray into the world of tonal. Yep. Breaks it down step by step. So you can see everything you need to know how to prepare for your space go through the strength assessment and figure out your perfect first workout. Also, it describes Tonal's dynamic weight modes and features and form feedback so you can use everything right out of the gate. I love that because, you know, whenever you get your Tonal installed, you, you, there's no one standing there to explain that to you. The person totally. who delivers it is not able to to give you that kind of information. Right. And um this is I just love this about Tonal that they take the initiative to put this kind of thing together and put it out there for people so that as a user, you know, right where to go. So, guys, if you see people asking questions, make sure and uh, lead them to the quick start guide. It's got everything. Yeah. And if you're wondering where you can find that, it's over on Facebook in the official Tonal community. Just uh, go there and search for quick start guide. So have you seen this? I have not seen this. Uh, Social Sunday. Yeah. So uh, I guess somebody suggested and I, I, I had it saved and I lost it. So I am so sorry. Somebody suggested that we do a social Sunday in the official Tonal community. So, of course, Tonal being as awesome as they are and Kate in particular, she started using a thread that every Sunday you can share other ways that you can connect with Tonal members. So you can put your Tonal username, your Instagram handles, YouTube channels, TikToks, blogs, wherever, whatever, as Kate says, you crazy kids are using these days. So it's Tonal related only. Anything outside of it will be removed. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's really cool. I love that. And I love that people can, because you, because then it's like, oh, I'm over on Instagram. That's where I spend most of my time. I don't spend most of my time on Facebook. Okay, well, here's all these tonal users I can now follow over on Instagram. Yeah. I love it. Coaches in the news. Coach Jackson was on the 15 point plan podcast. Yes, take action and build your energy with tonal coach Axon Jackson Bloor on Apple Podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> I just like saying it. Yeah. <laughs> you really you really punch that. I'm sorry. No. That was my morning DJ. Good voice. morning, everybody. <laughs> it's 8 15, 15 minutes past the hour. Coming up traffic and weather together. <laughs> After that, it's the 15 point plan. Yes. <laughs> so if you can't get enough of Coach Jackson, that's where you can find him over on the 15 point plan. Pretty awesome. I mean it's not our podcast, but I'll still I'll still talk it up. We'll allow it. Yeah. Hey, you know, um, I didn't get a chance to link to it, but I did want to take a time to mention that uh, Coach Pablo, uh, his his uh, baloney show that they've been doing, it went international oh, last really? week. Yeah, <laughs> they did their first international premiere. I think it was in Canada at the Can Canadian Film Queer Film Festival. I yes. Think. And uh, that's just pretty cool. So congrats Absolutely. to uh, Coach Pablo. New tonal content. 
As always, there is tons of new content for you to enjoy. So much. So much. Or, we- or not enjoy, <laughs> depending on. <laughs> well, you know, you don't always enjoy it in the moment, but you enjoy the results. Yes. That's the important thing. But there's a brand new program, uh, Unstoppable Strength and Sweat. And this is with Coach Nikki. So it's four times a week, but it's for two weeks. Again, they're doing more of these like two week little hits and I really like that yeah Uh, so this one is um, strength focus days that are going to get you stronger but then they also have sweat days that are going to build your endurance and add it in stability balance and power Uh, then we have new strength we have lean mean upper body with coach Woody that's 23 minutes advanced for upper body we have a quick fit start confident with coach trace beginner upper body 15 minutes Uh, And that's going to help you build a solid foundation. Next is quick quick fit chest attack with Coach Trace, intermediate upper body. So you have chest day in under 15 minutes. I mean, that's pretty convenient. Chest attack is what it feels like when I do too much cardio. (laughs) No. (laughs) I think I'm having a chest attack. No. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Then we have new cardio. Speaking of cardio, incredible sweat with Coach Paul. That's an intermediate full body, 35 minutes. And I love this. If you're not drenched in sweat, did you even work out? So this is great. And it uses all body weight moves so tom i could see this being a good one if you have to travel again oh that's true yeah uh there's also new boxing level up your boxing with coach woody intermediate workout full body 29 minutes uh this is going to help you level up your boxing skill set with some fun combinations not to be forgotten new yoga yoga studio standing neutral hip with coach francis all levels full body new bar bar intervals with coach francis Intervals scare me in bar. That could be tough. (laughs) Uh, Then there's new recovery. Remedy for sore legs with Coach Jared. This is great for whenever you have stiff or sore muscles. You know, they should combine a bar class with like a core floor class and they could call it a bar crawl. <laughs> Maybe you just leopard crawl between yeah. between moves. I'm here with ideas, Tonal. <laughs> You're welcome. Always with the ideas. They're free and worth twice that. <laughs> Uh, We also have some new meditation, self-worth meditation with Coach Jared. I am digging these meditations. I love the negative, like the release negative thoughts. Oh, I was like, they have negative meditations? No, no. You do that on your own. It's releasing (laughs) negative thoughts. And like, it's like super helpful. I love it. It's 20 minutes and I, it helps every time. Sorry. Back to this new family fitness kids focus and chill. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, got to do that with the kids. Uh, this one's full body, 18 minutes, and it gets rid of stress, anxiety, or excess energy. And don't we all have that? That's not just for the kids. Excess energy? I don't think I do have that. <laughs> okay. Stress and anxiety for oh, us. Oh, that part. Yes. Yeah. That, yeah. that makes a lot more sense. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, I also wanted to talk about the October challenge. Um, I think we mentioned that this was coming up and we talked about how it was going to be a different kind of format. And right. this, we know we knew it was going to be a bingo format, but you have to fill out the entire board. And so there's going to be live classes you got to do and you have to do encore classes. You have to do meditation. You have to create a custom workout. So basically you have to do pretty much at least one time of everything your tonal trainer can do, okay. which is smart. Yeah. It's a really good way to learn your, your tonal trainer. A yeah. really good way. I like that a lot. Absolutely. Checking in with the tonal team. So uh, joining us today via the magic of ZoomTube is Coach Nicolette here to talk to us about <laughs> cardio. Hello. 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 I feel, like I, should, I feel like I should do that whole introduction out of breath since it's about <laughs> cardio. <but. laughs> I mean, literally, if you had my job, you would have to do that out of breath. (laughs) Yeah, Uh, that's my job to work out for a living. And uh, I feel like I'm always trying to get better at it because it really never gets easier. (laughs) Well, it's probably a lot harder, though, to get you out of breath. Yeah, because you're probably regular people out of breath. I don't know, y'all. You know me as like the strength coach. Like I like to lift heavy for a you know short bursts and then rest for five minutes <laughs> that's my kind of working out um i do love cardio obviously but that's probably my uh, more of like my kryptonite would be cardio versus strength for sure um well, 
It's, it's the missing element sometimes. <laughs> I, I feel like, I feel like that's, that's good information for us to have as, um, as we take your classes, because, uh, you know, when we're, when we're like frustrated because you're making us work really hard, we can be like the next time you have a reverse birthday workout, we are putting, we're going to be like, do all the cardio. All cardio. There we go. <laughs> I was so scared for my reverse training birthday workout, but it wasn't terrible. Okay. I thought I was going to have to do just 500 Bulgarian split squats because somehow I've been named like the person who loves this exercise, but I don't really, I mean, I do, I probably do like it, but anyway, yeah, so I'm, I'm mostly strength training. Um, but I mean, I, I guess that's like the beautiful, beautiful thing about tonal is we do offer a lot of those, you know, a lot of variety. Um, I think that's why I enjoy the boot camps so much because and the high intensity classes, because it is like strength training, but also cardio. You're getting your heart rate up the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. And we can kind of dive into that. You know, it's like but. mixing the peas into the mashed potatoes for you. <laughs> Yeah. 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 The, the only time I don't do that is that is like with my yoga, I'll, I'll message Francis and be like, Hey, can we have like a chiller yoga? And she's like, I don't like chill yoga. Like I like it to be like a workout. I'm like, yeah, but I'm lazy. And when I stretch. I want it to feel like I'm stretching and not doing anything. So I do the prenatal yoga. <laughs> That's a good tip though, for people that want. Yeah. They want to like, chill yoga. They want <laughs> yoga, but a little Francis lesser. Did, yes. Francis did launch literally chill yoga flow. I think it came out like a couple of weeks ago and I was really stoked on it. I was like, <laughs> I feel like this was for me, even though it wasn't. Um, it's like but, hip hop lo-fi beats to study slash relax to. It's chill yoga. Chill slash, yoga. To study um, slash relax cardio, to. not meant to be chill. Yeah. No, no, you got to go hard in the cardio. Just but- real quick, I want to say you and Bulgarian split squats. I think I know why. Uh oh. Whenever I have a Bulgarian split squat, whether it's you or it's somebody else, it, you're the one <laughs> that they always show. I think. Oh, that's true. You are the. You it's are. It's like nobody else there did it, or maybe everybody else has lousy form and they just default <laughs> to you. It's and, but it's always you that I it see. Is, it is always me. And also, I recorded this one bit of VO like four years ago that was like, I love Bulgarian squats. I don't know what I say. I'm basically like, I love Bulgarian split squats. They're my favorite. And now your voice has gotten like, deeper over the years. <laughs> now it gets played every single time. Because um, nobody uh, else in the history of time has ever uttered right. those words. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was, yeah. So that combined with the fact that I'm always the demo coach, um, I think it's leading people to falsely believe that this is something that I do regularly, which it's not. Um, yeah. here, here on the super set, we yes. are, we are getting the hard hitting news. We are, we are digging into the myths of tonal <laughs> behind the scenes. BTS baby. <laughs> 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 so why do you why as an instructor is it like you have to tell us because we don't want to do all the things but why is it important to do both strength and cardio from a workout perspective yeah so i think li- like what i was saying before quite literally if you don't work that muscle right you're gonna you're gonna lose it so for me cardio is the most challenging um because it's not something that i am drawn to so when i do it i have to be very intentional about getting in my cardio um it's something i really have to like make myself do um but it also is a great way to train for your strength training like being under load uh for extended amounts of time for cardio is really important like being under tension that's how you create um, better athletic abilities and your performance can skyrocket. And then we also know that it's like great for your heart um, and those things too. But from a performance perspective, it's important that we push our bodies for extended amounts of time under load, which is why things like the high intensity classes and the boot camp classes are, are a great form of cardio because they're like conditioning. They're essentially having your exercising under load 
for a quicker, you know, tempo for a longer time under tension. And it's a great way to build up your athletic abilities. Um, and, and stay well-rounded. Like we can't always just like with our weightlifting, we can't always just lift really heavy and have four reps. Like we need to increase our repetitions, we need to decrease and increase our um, sets and the kind of exercises that we do. Um, and it also, I, I think too, with the, especially with the kind of cardio that we have on tonal, you're being put into movements that maybe you don't do every single day that are really good for your joints, that are really good for your back and your knees and your shoulders, like whether it be the kickboxing, like mobilizing your hip in a way that you don't normally do um, is going to create a lot of cross-functional strength. Yeah, that's that's a really good point. I mean, I, I one of my questions I was, right as I was saying it. <laughs> <laughs> I do like, that too. Actually, that's like really a really good question. <laughs> I do that too, except I don't make good points, but I do say a lot of things right as they come to my mind. <laughs> You're going to make her spit out water, Tom. Can you imagine? I, that should be the goal. It is the goal. It's all, that's the only goal I have in life is to make people spit things out from laughing. So, um, but on that note, you know, kind of going down that path, what kind of options does Tonal have? I mean, there's the hit classes, right? You, yeah. And now we have cart, we have the, the kickboxing. What other kind of cardio or yeah. it, does Tonal have? So we have the dance cardio with 305 Fitness. Right. Which if no one has ever tried that, they are sneaky as hell. <laughs> like, they, you're like, oh, these these ladies are cute. Okay. <laughs> like dance, like, okay. Um, such a such a like kick in the face, I feel like sometimes you're like, whoa, okay, that was going to be, that's actually a lot more challenging than I anticipated. I like their classes too, because it's not always just dance. Like when you pop in, like sometimes they have you kind of like jumping around, like a little bit of boot camping as you're kind of moving to a rhythm and to a beat. So we have the dance cardio, we have uh, the body weight boot camps, which I have a couple of those on tonal. Um, and those are very classic, like we off tonal like exercises. So those ones, some of them are like tonal specific exercises that are off tonal. And then some of them are just any type of boot camp that we come up with. Like I love one that Francis has, I forget what it's called, but it's like, it's very yoga flow kind of, but cardio. Oh. So oh. it's cool because some of them are like not tonal exercises. So we can take it, you know, in any direction that we want. Um, I know coach Allison has a really good one as well. All, these are all great for on the go. So if no one knows on the go workouts on the tonal app are essentially any of our body weight, uh, workouts that you can do from anywhere. Um, and then we have the high intensity classes, which are on tonal, which are probably my favorite when it comes to like proper conditioning, because you're still under load and I just love weightlifting. And then we have so we have the dance, the the body weight boot camps, the kickboxing, and then the hit classes. Yeah, and the kickboxing, like I don't take those ones as much because y'all, I am not coordinated when it comes to punching <laughs> the air. Like I suck at anything that involves coordination. So like I took one of those dance cardio things because I was like, I need to do a cardio thing. This has cardio in the title. And then by the end of it, I was like firmly on the side of John Lithgow in Footloose. Right? I was like, these kids need to calm down. Right. I just like I feel by the end, I'm just like, I guess I'm just jumping around. Like, moves. I am never gonna be in sync. I'll just jump around like an idiot. For the last five minutes, and, so and but I feel the same way about home. boxing. Right, yeah, right. And I feel the same way about boxing. So I'm I, like, I like, I'm the, like, what am I hitting? Who am I mad at? Personally, What's... I would rather be doing the boxing because, like, if because it's like single sided moves, I find that easier to do from a coordination mm -hmm. standpoint than and the she dancing. Has, she has a lot of anger. I do have a lot of anger. <laughs> <laughs> I just am like, how hard do I punch? Like when I'm not punching something. Yeah. And my coordinate, I just feel like an idiot. <laughs> I do too. When I do it. Like whenever I see coach Gabby or 
uh, coach Woody do it. I'm like, yo, you guys look badass. You look strong as hell. You look so amazing. Just killing it up there. And I'm in my house feeling and looking like a baby giraffe. <laughs> like, yeah, it's so bad. I do them though, because this is my number one rule. And this should be everyone's number one rule is to always incorporate things that either you don't like, or you're not good at because it's such an important muscle to work as far, just mentally. Like it's so valuable to be bad at something. I feel like that is so, so important. And that doesn't, and that's in life, but it, it's also on tonal. And it's also when you work out, it's so important to do things that you're not innately good at because that's where you need the most practice. So oh, yes. I do do them. I do <laughs> do them, but I, it takes a certain day and time for me you to get be in the right. <laughs> to be like, all right, this is going to suck. I'm going to be terrible at it, but here we go. <laughs> you know, every once in a while, like you can kind of see your reflection in the tonal Definitely. and it's like, and they're doing like shadow boxing and I'm over there. Like, it looks like I'm having a slap fight with a goat. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like my joints are like I'm just like oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's like I look like I'm getting attacked by a bee, right? Yeah, like, I'm yeah, just yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hand me any of the coach Jared, coach Gabby, high intensity classes. And I'm there and I'm all about it. Um, you know, it's also for me, it is like incorporating more cardio, on tonal has been essential as I'm getting more used to doing on tonal workouts being filmed. Um, because like you both know a, a long time ago, years ago, we only had content where we were coaching people and we were right. not working out with the members. And so now that we have a variety of on tonal off tonal, like cardio boot camps, um, hit classes that we're shooting, like I, need to get in better shape for cardio. No. Yeah, I'm not kidding. I did a shoot recently where at the end I was like, oh my God, I thought I was going to die. I was like, oh my God. Like, well, that's I discouraging. Need... Like if you need to get in better shape, what hope do we have? No, no, no. no. <laughs> This is because I don't do, I don't do it enough. And it was like, so it was eye opening. I was like, okay, this is something that I really need to incorporate more. And I think I posted on my Instagram. I was like, I'm really going to change my training up a lot more. I'm doing a lot more boot camps, doing a lot more hit classes. And I'm really feeling a difference. And it also, what's funny is, is like, yes, with hit classes and with cardio, either your body weight or you're doing more reps at a lighter weight, you know, whatever that may be, whether it's on tonal or not, you're preparing your body for lifting. Because now when I get onto tonal, even though I'm not doing like a hit class, I find that I recover so much quicker in between my working sets, like even just in a strength program, like maybe it's not my heart rate getting in my way on those 12 goblet squats, but instead it's just the, the, the fatigue in my muscles. Right. Hmm. So I think that's kind of the, what I've seen the most, I, I've changed my training up probably like maybe four weeks ago, like intentionally really started to add in a lot more cardio and a lot more boot camps. Uh, I've noticed the most that when I come back to my strength workouts, that I'm, I'm going quicker in between, like I'm not having to pause nearly as much, mm. but that's a cool added benefit that I don't feel like as, as worn out and I can move a little bit quicker. That's you know? great. Yeah. 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 So that's I helpful. had a moment. I had a moment like that. Not too long ago. We talked about this, uh, and the other show, but, uh, we went to see Mark Marin and we got to the door uh, the comedian and yeah. uh, we get to the door and they're like, it was a, you need to show Vax, but you also were supposed to wear a mask and we didn't realize it. We we're like, Oh, our masks are in the car. So we got truck it back to the car. Cause the show starts in like five minutes. Cause we were late yeah. and like, we like book it back to the car and then now we're booking it back inside. And like, we're almost all the way back inside. And like, we're talking while we're doing this. And Crystal's yeah. like, you know, a year ago you would have been 
like bent over <laughs> just panting he would have been having to notice like she's like i would have been fine i yes, would have been she fine been. <laughs> yes. she, and she, she is correct she because, because i've always done a lot of cardio yeah. like comparatively yeah, yeah, yeah. but since tom's like new to yeah. it like yeah. this was a very new experience i mean we were we were booking it and yeah. he wasn't even like didn't even he, break a sweat didn't even, there was no there was no like out of breath there was no <laughs> breaking a sweat i mean and we're talking the whole time yeah like, holding on a conversation <laughs> just like this like as we're like yep. you know so i was like oh i guess this does matter over time yes, exactly it's so important i think and i think that's the biggest difference between like regular carding cardio whether you're on a bike or you go running is those are great for that when you do that kind of cardio you're improving that you're improving your the function and the health of your heart and that movement pattern whatever that pattern is if you're on an elliptical on a bike or you're running outside um, but when you're doing actual like hit classes or boot camp classes you're working through the same movement patterns that you're going to do in your weightlifting workouts. Right. So you're really, you're able to do both. You're doing cardio, but you're also continuing to strengthen those same movement patterns and those muscles for what you do on tonal. Um, and then that's where I've seen the biggest difference with myself. Like when I get on stage and I then go work out, I'm feeling so much better, not because I've gone running, which is great for you, but because I've literally done cardio versions, high intensity versions of like the workouts and the movements that I do on tonal. So it's like when a batter swings two bats in the on deck circle and then you Who go does play. that? Yeah, and you only got is, one bat. What is it? What are you talking is about? This a that's a thing. That's, I a, thing? A, sports reference. that's a thing. Well, like, but, but we don't know it. So <laughs> they do it all the time. They do it so frequently that I don't know it. So, but I'm, when it comes to sports, I'm also a girl. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> but apologize to girls that love sports. I would say there's plenty of girls out there, don't, women that are like, yeah, yes. <laughs> exactly. I'm sure there are, but, um, but you said it and I was following suit. So I'm mad at you. Yeah. Um, you mad at me. Yeah. But no, when, when, like when they're warming up, when they're in the on deck circle waiting for like the, there's a guy at bat and then the, there's the next guys in the on deck circle and he does and too? he'll swing two bats and oh. like to kind of like loosen up. Oh. And then when he gets to the plate, mm -hmm. you know, he's only allowed to use one clearly uh, just for fairness. I don't even know if it would benefit him, but, uh, but right. But, but, this, right? But, but now he was used to swinging two bats and now his bats way lighter and he can be like, pow. Okay. And that's, Okay. That's that reminds me of my program, Power to the Max. Yeah. I've done and that one. Yes. And so you'll know what I'm about to say. We use a method called post activation potentiation. And basically, what you do is it's long. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> right. of it's actually a song. Here we go. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Um, and in that program, you, I think we have three, five, three, five, three is yes. the, the rep scheme. And you can do a variety of rep schemes. Usually it's like six, one, six, one, six, one, but I did make to make it easier. I did five, three, five, three, five. And so what that does on tonal, when you have the three reps, it's heavier weight. When you do the five reps, it's lighter weight. And so you can bring more power into that five rep range because your body thinks from the set before that it's about to lift the weight of the three reps, which is heavier. And okay. so you're able to bring more power, more intensity. So basically what they're doing with that is they're like kind of tricking the body and tricking the nervous system into thinking like, oh, well, I have to swing, you know, this many yeah. pounds and oh, shoot, I don't have to. Holy crap. Now I can swing way quicker and way stronger. And my um, body needs to be tricked. <laughs> like, let's be clear. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so now I know sports. Um, yeah. You're, you're welcome. You're I, well, you, sports genius you know now. what I taught you about sports. Which isn't much. <laughs> so I'm curious if there's a good mix of cardio and strength that people should kind of like, they should target because like, should they go for a number of minutes each? I mean, to your point, you want to, you want to work on your, your heart and keep it healthy, but you want to lift. So how do you do both? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, and one of the questions I get the most often is like, how do I mix up my cardio and my strength? I don't know, like, which is which. What's and the exact amount of cardio I have to do so I don't have to do one second more? <laughs> we know that you do cardio first before your strength. Because <laughs> I, I I remember you telling me this. <laughs> you I'm did. sad about it, but I'll handle. We'll get onto that topic in a second. But... <laughs> 
when it, it, it always comes down to like what your goal is. So if your goal is to improve your running, you know, then running is obviously really important and your strength is going to um, complement that. But if your goal is to get stronger on tonal, if that is your goal, if you're trying to squat more and you're just trying to feel better for life, feel stronger in your daily life with your kids, with your friends, going hiking, going on vacation, then you want to make sure that your strength training stays at the epicenter of like what you're trying to do. So your cardio should complement that. With that being said, you should still do a majority of strength training and allow the cardio to be that complement. So I like to think about cardio being, you know, a strength training being like 70% of what you do and allowing the cardio to be that complimentary, like maybe 30 to 40%. Um, so a lot of the times it looks like three to four days of strength training and then like two to three days of cardio. Um, I would say if strength training is your goal, you really shouldn't have any like boot camps and hit classes more than two times a week, three max. Um, you know, they can be short, you know, we have plenty of like 10 minute cardio on tonal, like that's different. Like you could do that after a love lifting workout, but I would say like a 30 minutes plus like cardio workout boot camp, like that shouldn't be more than two, maybe three times a week. If being stronger is your goal, because it's a compliment. It's not, that's not your main cardio is not your main goal. Um, and then when it comes to the training parameters, like I said, it's very important to do your strength training first. If you are going to do cardio on the same day. Um, and that's because we don't want to tire out the muscles and even the nervous system for strength training. Not even if strength training is not your main goal, strength training is putting your body under a lot, under a lot more load and tension. And there's more risk of injury when you have a hundred pounds on a barbell or, you know, you're under load, whatever that is. And so you want to make sure that you are fresh and you are at the top of your game with your tank completely full. When you do strength training, when you do actual weightlifting and allow the cardio to be like that burner that, you know, that ends like, all right, everything else I have left because the risk is a lot lower. You're not under tension. It's body weight. Um, you are kind of able to push yourself to the end without putting your body at risk. I think, I think that it's, that is very good advice because I can't do strength Bef like I have to do strength first. If I if I try to do cardio, like I can feel my muscles already like kind of shaky and yeah. I don't feel as like sturdy when I go to do the moves. And so I can't do them properly. And I have tweaked my back before doing that, you know, so I, I have to be really careful. But yeah. yes, Tom, Tom is the opposite. So, well, because <laughs> so my logic, that's why, Tom. My, here's why. <laughs> I like to do things in the worst way possible. When you talk about be bad at something, here we go. So really, you need to stick on message here. Like, <laughs> Don't you hate when he twists the things? Uh -huh. He does that to me all the time. So the real reason I, I do it, other than to irritate you, um, <laughs> that's just a happy accident. Uh, yes. So the real reason I do it is because I if I if I do the, the strength first, Right. And then I and then I I'm going to go and do, do a cardio program. I'm like, well, I already worked out like I'm that's probably enough. And then I stop. <laughs> and so I feel like if if I do the strength at the end, I'm more likely to be like, well, I just ran around like an idiot. That doesn't really count. I'm going to do this other thing. So it's like yeah, that's yeah. my way of tricking myself yeah. into doing both because I'm afraid I, I would only do one that if you're doing dance cardio, high intensity boot camps. Those are better done on off days anyways, because like we said, it, you're mimicking movement patterns that you do when you weight lift. So I think it'd be different if you were like going out on a run, you know, you could do that on the same day as you're lifting and you can still do like boot camps and stuff on your, on the, on your same days as lifting. But some of those classes are also a little bit longer. And I think that if you're going to do a weightlifting class and it's any more than 30 minutes, doing another 30 minute class, like you should, when you're on tonal, be pushing yourself so much that it does feel like you said, Tom, like, like 
I just worked so hard. Like, I don't feel like I could even do cardio. Um, and that's really the goal. So saving like high intensity, things like that for your off day, your boot camps, I think are more ideal because it is a little bit different than if you were doing like running or going outside for like stairs or something like that. Yeah, I have a couple of uh, like body weight cardio things saved that are just because I like to not think when I'm in front of the machine. I don't want to think like I want to just hit a button and go, because if not, I'll talk myself out of it because by yeah. my default nature is fat and lazy. <laughs> and so um, so <laughs> <laughs> it is. You right? can't say that anymore. You've I lost said, so much weight. I said yeah. my default nature is fat and lazy. OK, my default it's, nature is lazy. I'm not. Yeah. Even. <laughs> I think same. all of us are yeah. like, who's, the same. Who, who is like, oh, I want to, I want to work hard every yeah. day. Like we all have to push ourselves for that. Dude, I there. could just lay on the couch eating chocolate and drinking wine and watching crime murder shows every day of my life. I'd be fine with that. I would want to be right next to you. <laughs> <laughs> I on, like to do all of those things. <laughs> on, on Hulu, there's a show called Guilty or Innocent. You need to watch if it. If you like your crime shows, it's totally, and it, they like show you the crime and then they're like but like you know the person like did it for well the they, most you part. know they were convicted right yes. or they were arrested for arrested yeah. excuse me and yeah. then yeah. you follow the trial but like a lot of times it's like they they're like oh no the person absolutely did it but are they guilty yeah and and oh, so and so cool. like it is it is riveting riveting <laughs> it is exhilarating riveting. And heartbreaking. Wow, that's a big word it does <laughs> All the things and each ep- each episode basically is a different case. Yeah. And it's really right. good. So. And there's only like six of them. Yeah. So you so can blow through them fast. You'll burn through them real quick. Because so we like, were like, I want one on a weekend. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. So like, if, we went through them real fast. If you like your crime, then you'll dig this. But yeah, anyway, so back I, to cardio and working yes. out. <laughs> so I have I have I, that Allison one. I think you were referencing. I is yep. one of the ones I have saved. And then okay. I have one that uh, Jared did uh, when you guys were doing them from home where it was. Oh, yeah. I, and what I liked, and I, 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 I have it banked. And so it's, uh, um, the 20 seconds, it's the 20 on. seconds on 20 seconds off. Cause I'm just like, cause I hate it, but I'm like, <laughs> by the time I'm like, this really sucks. I'm like, well, there's only five more seconds. <laughs> and, I can do this. Yeah. Can I? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, that's, I guess what cardio should do in a lot of ways though. It, and I think that's why, like what I said earlier is when it tests you in that way, it's so important to test that part of our brain, uh, that part of our drive and our grit. I, I do feel like for some people, maybe cardio is easy, like for crystal, you know, but for me, cardio really tests that part of me, that willingness to like push myself. Like that's where I can appreciate cardio. Is. That's that's me, especially on those Bulgarian split squads and strength, and uh, and also for some reason anything that's pushing overhead, whether it's an overhead so press hard. or a bench press or like anything with my shoulders and upper body, I'm like, Bleh. I hate all of so it. So <laughs> Agreed. I'm just saying. Yeah. But, but how do people find the the way to like balance it? I mean, I know we talked about like what's a good mix time wise, but like how do you find the yeah. balance between like I'm I'm not like what if you don't have a goal? Like what if what if you're just like, I just want to be fit, you know, yeah. like I just want to or I want to lose weight. Like what do you what do you do to find a good mix? I think 60, 40 in that sense is probably pretty good. I still always lean on the side of more strength training and because the benefits from strength training are just so vast. Not only are you going to get stronger, but it's great for metabolism, great for joint function, great for your health for an elongated amount of time, like through your entire life. Like it is preparing you to be um, a healthier, stronger, more able-bodied individual. So not only is there that literal just advantage of strength training, but it's also incredible for body composition. And I think a lot of people do cardio for body composition, which is why I say that, um, and assume that it's going to have more calorie burn and that it's going to be better for you in that way. And it is really good for you, but I still think that it's always important to have you know, mostly strength training and then allowing cardio to still be that complement because strength training is where the good stuff happens. Like that's where the change really starts to happen. That's where the muscles grow and the, and the fat starts to diminish. And that's where we get stronger and we see the physique changes. That's strength training. 
that's not cardio, but cardio is a great thing to mix in. So I think for anyone who's just general fitness, like I just don't know when to do cardio. I would personally do like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, strength training split, cardio Tuesday, Thursday, maybe do cardio on Saturday, or maybe do like a hit class on Saturday or Sunday where you're under load, but you're still working a little bit quicker and working that muscle, right? Like working that heart muscle. And then maybe on Tuesdays and Thursdays, you're doing like a body weight boot camp or a dance cardio, or you're doing a kickboxing um, in between your lift days. Um, that's great if you're doing three times a week. If you're doing four times, I would do like Monday, Tuesday lift, Wednesday, like an off tonal cardio option, and then Thursday, Friday lift, and then Saturday or Sunday, either a hit or um, another like off tonal cardio option. So that's how I would shape days again, still majority strength training, but a nice even split. Like it's not too skewed to one side um, because it's important to do both. They're both super, super valuable. You know, when you're talking about body composition, like, I, and, and the value of strength training, like personally, like I I've been stunned. Cause I, I, you know, I've, I've lost a bunch of weight, but I, I've been this weight before, Yeah, but I haven't had this appearance before. Mm -hmm. Like I'm uh, like, I'm only five pounds lighter than when her and I got married. But if you look at the picture side by side, I look like I'm 15 or 20 pounds lighter. Mm -hmm. yep. and, and like I was still wearing XL t-shirts and they fit okay. And I had to like get rid of all my XL t-shirts and switch to larges mm -hmm. over five pounds. And that that's not yeah, lean muscle. That's more back. than weight. Yeah. yeah, it's it's more than weight. Yeah, driving yeah. that. So because it is more than just caloric burn and caloric deficit, you know, when it comes to really changing our body composition and cardio, a lot of the times people associate that with caloric deficit and that's, what's going to get me to burn calories, but that will take you so far. And again, an incredible compliment to actually changing your body composition, meaning changing fat and creating more muscle, like actually changing the composition of what makes up your body. And that's, you know, and that's what strength training does is it change, it changes that. So cardio as is always in my book, going to be a compliment, <laughs> <laughs> the heavy lifting, <laughs> but there are tons of cardio options on tonal, obviously. So yeah. if somebody hates hates cardio yep. and they're, they're like, okay, okay, shut up. I'll do it. <laughs> like, where would you recommend that they start? What's a good way oh, that's a good to, to dip your toe into the miserable waters of cardio? <laughs> <laughs> I laugh because I think that way in my head. <laughs> um, so body weight, the body weight boot camps are great. I know for sure mine most of them I offer like uh, variations to each exercise for high impact or low impact. So, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that most of those body weight ones, the coaches acknowledge, like, you know, you could do, you could take out the jump or you can do this. So I like those because you can definitely adjust mm -hmm. um, the things about like the high intensity on tonal. Those are not workouts where you can change the exercises. So those are a little bit less, um, adjustable. And for anyone who doesn't know on programs where we are not working out with you or workouts, we're not working out with you. There's an option at the bottom left part of your screen to be able to change the movement. Um, and, and I don't think, I don't feel like enough people know that. Um, and I use so, that a lot, yeah. not a lot, but like there's one particular move that I will not do. And, yeah. uh, and so I always, I, I always swap it out. <laughs> Yeah, it's a great option for sure, but you can't do that in the high intensity classes. So I do find that those are a little bit more challenging. Um, I know I'm, we probably have like, we do have beginner ones and stuff, but you're under load on tonal. So it's always going to be a little bit harder. Sure. Um, and then I think the dance cardio are a great option because there are ones that are like leveled out. And again, like the, 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 like the, uh, oh, what's the word? Like the 
chance of you getting injured because of being under heavy load when you're getting really tired, especially if you're a beginner, is going to be so much lower in like a fun, like dance cardio class, but then you're still going to definitely get into cardio workout. Like I said, at the beginning, those ones wipe me out more <laughs> than a lot of the other classes. Um, and then also, I mean, also the kickboxing. So I would say that if it's someone trying to really incorporate cardio for the first time, or maybe like not running, not biking cardio, do the off tonal stuff um, and and read the descriptions, because in the descriptions, a lot of the time we say like coach Nicolette offers variations to, you know, for high impact or low impact, like find the ones that are beginner, find the ones that are all levels. Whenever I program for an all levels workout, that means I'm going to be queuing for all levels. Um, and I, the, I, me personally, um, is usually what that means. So all levels and beginner body weight cardio options, and then you can also do them anywhere. So that's cool too. That's awesome. That's really good advice. Absolutely. You should do this for a living. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah crazy, right? <laughs> yeah. So I have a, before we let you, I have a quick question about the replacement stuff. Cause I've, I've always, we, you yeah. and I have talked about this. Okay. So when you hit replacement, it normally gives you like oh yeah like three or four options and they yeah. they pop up in a row boop, boop, boop. and uh that's my noise but tonal mm -hmm. can have it if they want um <laughs> you guys love the boops uh, boop, boop. Yeah. and so uh so my question is <laughs> is it showing them to you in any particular order so is the one mm. is the first one in the queue like this is the closest replication to the thing you're not going to do and then and then it stair steps down or is it just like here are three things pick one no i don't think so i haven't replaced a move in a while but the only say, reason i say no i don't think so is because i feel like i've had to like scroll through a little bit to find the one that i feel like is the closest okay, okay. but i'm not positive i i think the thing about what we're looking at when it's with the moves replacement is the movement pattern. So first of all, movement pattern being similar and then the tonal setup being similar because we don't want to have to have you move it. And then there's, right. oh, I'm pretty sure there's almost always an off tonal option. The off tonal option is probably going to be like the farthest from sure, that what, is, what is mo what is, if it's an on tonal move, um, right. probably the farthest from being like the most closely related. Mm -hmm. um, but I would first look at the movement pattern. So if you're doing a lunge, then all the lunge variations are going to be the most similar. Um, least less similar would be like a um, a split squat versus like a reverse lunge, the same kind of, but you know, slightly different movement pattern. And then a resisted glute bridge would be like a bilateral, you know, hinge movement. So probably not nearly as closely related as that like lunge movement. Okay. Um, so the so thing I'm the always pattern itself, like look at what your legs or arms are doing okay. and find whatever's closest to that. If you're trying to find the like close, most closely related. Okay. One. So I think I'm choosing properly. The thing I'm always bailing on is yeah, the okay. thing where the barbell chokes you the front squat. There the front we go. Squat. And I don't know the name. I had to a goblet. You would change it to a goblet. And that's what he I do. Okay, okay. That's what I pick because it yeah. seems the, the closest. Because yeah. I'm okay. like, because I can do all the things. I just would like to breathe while I do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Has he watched any of my tonal talks? <sighs> he got so frustrated, Nicolette. Like, <laughs> I got really mad. He got, I mean, he got real frustrated. So the, I know this isn't the topic we're talking about, but real quick, the <laughs> front squat is meant, it is challenging. So just know that that is so normal in the front squat it should be touching the neck that it feels for some of my clients just as a um a backstory like i've had clients who have done front squats with me and actually have had to take the bar off because it get it emotionally is very overwhelming because they're not used to things touching their neck yeah it's a very sensitive area we don't like things on our neck like that's not comfortable as humans right so it's very common for that movement to be uncomfortable. The biggest piece of advice I can give is just practice it for a couple of weeks or even a couple of months in custom workouts. You don't even have to do it as front squat, do it as bar move, do it light, get comfortable, slowly add weight every week and get comfortable with the arms. And then watch my tonal talk. Um, watch my, not my tonal talk. Um, I have a couple of like, 
the form and fives and there's a couple squat videos in the official tonal community where I go over the front squat and the positioning and the bar and that it, it tends to be really helpful for people as well. So, okay. and then it's switching it up for the goblet is fine too. A lot of people do that. And, you know, depending on your shoulder mobility, the front squat just might be super duper challenging and that's okay. The b- goblet squat is also an incredible exercise that it works just, a similar movement pattern. Well, that's, that's good to know that I'm not just wasting my time by doing No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, like, I didn't think I would, yeah. but I was just like, am I, you know, I don't want, but I also don't want to get so far removed that it's like, well, instead of this, I do a push up. Like, well, that's not. <laughs> Yeah, no, 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 at all, right? So, <laughs> we're like, instead, go outside, get on the stairs. Right. <laughs> instead of so, every time I get that move, instead, I eat an ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> oh, winning! You're yeah. so smart. <laughs> This is why we don't let Tom program the yes. alternate moves. Totally. <laughs> Tom is not a tonal coach. That's yes. right. <laughs> be like, oh, is that one difficult? Have you thought about watching an episode of The Office? <laughs> <laughs> Good choice, by the way. That's thank right. you. <laughs> well, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Before we let you go, remind everyone where they can find you. Yes, I'm coach.nicolette on Instagram. You can find me in the official tonal community. I try to be as active as possible, but now that we're up to 20K plus members, it's getting a little bit harder. <laughs> um, and then nicoletteawellness.com, N I C O L E T T E. A wellness. That's my website where you can reach out to me if you have questions about movement technique, posture, program design, curriculum, things like that. Awesome. There it is. Thank you both so much. This was great. Thank you. So I guess that brings this episode to a close. Until next time, where can people find you? And people can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash Crystal D. O'Keefe. And they can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and the Tonal Leaderboard at Clip Out Crystal. And you can find me on Twitter at Roger Kubert or on Facebook at facebook.com slash Tom O'Keefe. And you can find the show online at uh, facebook.com slash Superset Podcast. While you're there, be sure and uh, like the page and join the group. And wherever you're getting your podcast from, be sure and follow us so you never miss an episode so that's it for this one thanks for tuning in and until next time keep lifting smart panel smart bar smart trainer there you are customized make it right ai form and vibe super set will show you what it's all about The Superset is made possible in part by support from Tonal.